harm. I am Supergirl. Hey guys, just finished watching Supergirl Season 3, Episode 21, uh, Not Kansas. Um, what an interesting episode. This episode was pretty good. It was an interesting episode, but there was a few big plot holes, or not plot holes, just questions that uh, that I kept on getting answered, and the same questions over from last episode that still don't get answered, and they're really big questions, um, and there's a few things that kind of really kind of bugged me with this episode, but otherwise, this episode on its own was a really good episode. So we start off, we see uh, Rain is loose, you know, Supergirl's picking, fighting her pick up right where we left off in the last episode. They arrive back. Supergirl and Bon L arrive back on, on Earth, you know, and just in time to, uh, to, to as, as Rain breaks free from her her uh, holding, uh, Lena ends up making a cure extremely fast, which was kind of convenient, you know, um, and then Supergirl ha uh, you know, ends up, uh, uh, Supergirl has Lena ma make more of the Black Rock to kind of, um, so she could bring some more back to uh, Argo City. Although later on we do get a reveal on there that it's more like there's something there's a reveal for it, but I really didn't get what um, what Lena was saying. How it's more than something. It's more than just a black rock. She's trying to recreate it, so it's unclear if she's able going to be able to do that. But uh, Kara ends up telling Alex that she want that her mother's alive and that she wants to go live uh, live there with her mother for a while, go visit. And uh, the DEO ends end up throwing a party for her and all that. And that was really cool, right? Um, but the biggest thing is she's going to live on Krypton or what What was, uh, you know, what, what is new Krypton and the left of Krypton type thing. She doesn't go and say goodbye to Eliza and, and Jeremiah. If it's, you know, if it's, I guess, we still don't know how far um, Argo City is from Earth, you know, how long does it take to get there in, in uh, John's ship, um, you know, what what kind of gas does John's ship run on? I imagine it doesn't, you know, it's not a ship that just endlessly can drive forever, you know, can it go well, you know, if it takes days to go, does he ever have to recharge a battery or some sort of kind of fueling uh, system for the car, so how long does it take to, to get there to from from Earth to Argo City, we still don't get that idea. Now, since Deo is throwing him a throwing throws her her, her going away party, um, she says goodbye to Alex, and it's kind of emotional and all that. She says goodbye to her job. She takes a leave of absence, absence or she quits her job. But it was unclear. Although, since you know, um, since Supergirl, uh, you know, is James, and James is her like, and James knows she's Supergirl. James is her boss. Really doesn't change anything. But yet, uh, Lena uh, Lena doesn't know that she's Supergirl. So feels like they would have to she'd have to actually maybe we need to go back and see um you know she would actually have to either quit her job or something and james couldn't just be like yeah take a break and then come back and then you know go back and they have to have him make an excuse that would make sense not just uh to everyone all the employees at, at the building i mean james can't just have, you know can't just not say anything and, and keep her as an employee type thing people would find out but um specifically lena would be curious to know you know why she's gone and what what excuse is, or she needs that excuse. But um, it's going to be cool to see, you know, why didn't she go say goodbye to Eliza or Jeremiah? Which I still think we haven't seen Dean Kane as Jeremiah Danvers since um, last season. Uh, I don't think we've seen him at all this season. Last time we saw him is when uh, when the ship. If I'm not mistaken, last time I rewatched the the show on Netflix, we last time we saw Dean Kane was when. Uh, it was when Lily and Luther was sending off uh, a ship full of uh, of um, refugees, trying to get the, all the aliens to 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 go off and send them off into space and just and you know get them off the planet, um, kind of deporting them. So I don't know if we've seen him. I don't forget if we've seen uh, Jeremiah Danvers since then. But at least Eliza, you know, uh, should uh, should be around. You know, is probably just back uh, back home in, in in Smallville or where was it? Uh, I forget where she was, where she, where her house is type of thing. But just outside of Metro, uh, National City, um, she didn't go say goodbye to, to that. Or the big question, um, Elias is one thing. It could have been an easy, you know, Skype call. You know, you just call and Skype in uh, with uh, Helen Slater. I think that could have easily been done. Helen Slater could have literally took her phone from her end dressed whatever and just pretend and say a few lines as if they're skyping and she's saying you know i'm going off to found to new krypton and telling that maybe they're skyping on 
uh, you know, on their phones or their 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 FaceTiming on their iPhones or whatever or on their computer. It would be really easy to do, and then you don't have to actually send it, have her come in to, to film it. She can film off of whatever device she has because you're not going to be putting it full screen. You're just going to have it, you know, on the phone, the characters over the shoulder on the phone type of thing. It would be really easy to do to get Eliza. And also, bring Linda, uh, bring, um, what is it, uh, Helen Slater back. We haven't seen her in a while. It'd be awesome to see her. Um, and then the big question is, why not say anything to Kal-El? She doesn't text Clark, doesn't email him, something. Just see the texting that we used to have in the first season when before we had Tyler, uh, Tyler Eckley to cast as Clark. I don't know why we don't have that, you know. You know, even then, that could be another uh, you know, Skype-in call. He could just put on some glasses and, so, and, and a shirt as if he's busy doing stuff or whatever. I don't know. It would be really cool. It would have been cool as if, you know, he he, he get, gets a message or, I don't know, he would want to know that she's gone for, for uh, he, you know, gone to uh, Krypton, gone to Argo City. Does he know about it? Has he already been there? Um, what's going on? You know, I think that would be really cool to see that. Um, and because she was in, she's like, maybe Superman already knows about that. I think that would make a lot of sense. You know, if you already met that or just or saw something like that, then you'd be quite interested to see that. Um, although it would be quite of a quite of a dick move if he never told her about that her mother's alive. So I probably doesn't know. But I think it would just it would have been cool just to get an idea as to, hey, I'm going to uh, like get an idea as to just them texting uh, something to kind of explain as to why, like, because. Why would she not tell Clark, to tell Kal El that, um, you know that that his her his aunt is alive. He's they're not the only two Kryptons left. You know there's a whole city of Krypton that's that survived out there floating in the in space. I don't see why they wouldn't. Uh, you know he wouldn't want to go there and just kind of check it out. Um, that's really going to be cool to see if they explain that. Uh, maybe we get a scene at the end or something this season. I'm not sure. if Tyler Hoechlin is uh, Tyler's busy with another show or whatnot, but uh, it would be cool to just to get that. Even just the texting, like I said, you know, you just text him and say that and show pictures or something. I think that would be really cool dealing with that. Um, you know, maybe it's something like she texts him, "Hey, found this," da da da, and then uh, you know he he's like, "Oh, busy dealing with this," right? And he could be dealing with his own storyline, like his own. Just you give a quick reference that oh, he's busy dealing with. Um, you know, Dark Side or some other villain, you know, Mongol or some crazy villain that you know that we probably wouldn't use on the show or something that just teasing that they exist. And then you know he's like, cool. Uh, you know, I'll let me know where it is and I'll check it out whenever I have the time, right? Um, which would be interesting to see because would Superman be able to fly out there? Is it is it far enough for him to do that? I mean, we know that this in this show, Supergirl is not able to fly out there because in the first episode, first season, in yeah, the first season, she wasn't able to fly in space. She wasn't able to even breathe in space. But um, yeah, so it would be a really good big question is to ask that as to you know could like I said in the last video or review can Alex go on there can humans breathe on Argo City you know I tried googling that to see from the comics you know if can humans breathe on Argo City and there's really no nothing really saying about it there but uh, it's really going to be cool to see if you get that explained by the end of this season um, and hopefully maybe if if not maybe I could see if Argo City did get destroyed um, at the end by the end of the season which I think that would be a better idea and having Supergirl's mother kind of hanging out uh, have um uh, have Erica Durant join the show permanently and have her kind of um, have her become uh, you know and live on Earth type thing would be an interesting idea. Now I don't know if you'd want to have her in every single episode, but I think you could she, she could move in. Come let's say something happens, Argo City, she starts living on Earth, does her own thing type thing, then moves out, and we have her kind of cameoing here and there, appearing uh, uh, just like uh, Helen Slater, but a little bit more often than Helen Slater because that's it's been a while since we've seen Helen Slater and we need to see her pretty soon so um mon Ell ends up going with her to uh to back to argo city uh, and once there they find out they she ends up finding out that uh, thara akvar is on argo city um and i didn't know who it was who are who thara akvar was in at all so i, I checked it out in my wikipedia uh, my encyclopedia superman encyclopedia nothing about it there but it turns out from on the online that uh, thara is actually um, one of kara's best friends growing up uh, and they grew up together and then so this version of her is actually kind of a bit like 12 years older than her or something, something like that and that's why uh because carl was, was in the phantom zone she was, would be way older than, than her so we get to see her there 
Um, and then we see that the, the storyline going on Earth with DEOs, there's gu- the DEO guns are actually on the street. So that was an interesting storyline, um, but it still just seems kind of just kind of uh, being political for no reason. It's kind of an- a little bit annoying. Um, and then someone, we see someone trying to get uh, Kara s- suspects someone trying to, to, to you know to, to to hurt her, to kill her. Um, and she ends up blaming the wrong person, uh, and then John ends up talking down the gunman who had uh hit you know, deo style weapons uh monel ends up telling carol that he's in he's still in love with her um that was interesting but still we'll see how where that goes with that storyline i really don't know she just got over him so i really don't didn't feel like t- having her in the her relationship getting back together um you know i just really just kind of i, I don't know i'd like to maybe he could go back to being in the future and stay there and we could just keep uh, moving on because i really don't know if we want to i feel like we don't feel like retreading that storyline we've already done that before um and the carol we find out carol was right and the woman who was trying to kill her she's actually working with um serena and she's working with one of the rain uh, like the people who are behind the rain um rain in her uh uh, followers and stuff uh, and then john ends up getting uh, john jones ends up getting the uh, rid of the guns at uh, the deo which all the lethal guns which is an interesting idea because they do with they play with this idea kind of a little bit on shield they play with it a long time ago um even actually, actually in the first episode of Age of shield they play with that idea right away and they build the icer guns you know that kind of they're non-lethal versions of the gun when they're dealing especially on that show they were dealing with a lot of you know people with new superpowers and dealing with how to take them down without you know harming them too too much without actually killing them just because they have you know they're in a lab experiment and things were gone wrong but totally different getting off track with there but that's the thing is that it didn't make sense for why would john jones he's dealing with you know the first season they dealt with escaped uh escaped uh, criminals from um I can't think of the, the fortress there, but the prison that uh, where, where Laura sent um, all the uh, Fort Ross, you know, all, all the prisoners from Fort Ross, um, all those things. So what are the regular humans going to do against Fort, Fort Ross prisoners, you know, or if another, uh, if some of those rained guys come back now at, the end of the, now at the end of the season, hopefully he brings back the lethal weapons because, you know, I think the idea of, I get the idea where they're going through, going with and just because, you know, some of these weapons are trying to be all political and get that and all that stuff, but it's just, it's just, see, it seems, it seems like they're being political just to be, just to be political and just kind of not make, not, you know, uh, they're making the, the, the politicalness part of the storyline was the main focus rather than the storyline and then have it happen to be political. It, it just didn't, I think it didn't really um, work it out to me, to me. It seems like they were, I would rather them, you know, put the idea that this political storyline and this kind of, uh, you know, making a stance and all type of thing, put that in the back burner, make the story the more important thing than this so i like the way they pulled off the story was good it's just the the ending like i said with john jones didn't make sense as to why get rid of all your 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 guns um have you know shot a win go out there and make you know a version of their icer guns non-lethal guns you know that they could use and they could switch it all out that would make more sense is just switching out the bullets you know switching out the the uh, live rounds done rounds uh, you know whatever you want and you can do that and then you don't have to um be killing everyone or all that and i get that idea and i get that's one thing that they can do with that but when you're fighting you know uh, a white martian you're fighting uh you know you're, you're fighting uh, zod uh you're fighting um i doubt that zod will ever see zod in here we, we did once when superman was hallucinating but um I doubt we'll ever see anyone like that, but it would be cool is like when there's another one, if Brainiac shows up or, you know, whatever happens, they're going to need weapons. I mean, there's, there's all kinds of aliens out there that are, you know, way more powerful than all these humans. So, you know, the time that it would take to switch out a magazine from, from non-lethal rounds to lethal rounds, um, is, is kind of, kind of different. And they, you know, they're not protecting, they're not just taking on the DEO, uh, is not just taken on you know regular uh shouldn't be taken on regular you know robberies or anything like that because that's not what they do with they just deal with uh you know extraterrestrials and alien threats to earth so i don't know it just seemed a bit silly and it seemed a bit much harsh for him to get rid of all their guns um hopefully there's a plan to do with that and they can play with that storyline and it's not just over that whole gun anti-gun storyline that they're playing with here uh hopefully there's an ending to it in the next through two episodes as we get to the end here 
Um, it also seems like since it's happening now and they didn't deal with it a long time ago and they, if they were going to deal with it, they should have stretched out the storyline and go into do it deeper rather than just throwing in, oh, here's a political correct, uh, you know, uh, uh, storyline, uh, you know, gun thing. And um, I think hopefully it has, it seems like it's just a way to kind of make everyone like, oh, you know, he got rid of all the guns and then in the next episode, uh, the, based on the trailer, everyone, Reigns guys show up, evil uh, Kryptonians show up, and they get all these powers, and we don't have any lethal weapons at all, type thing. Oh, no. I didn't think if, you know, Wynn had just made lethal, non lethal bullets, then they could change it out. They could just switch out the magazine, and they still have the lethal guns. It sounds like he wants to get rid of the um, non lethal, uh, the lethal guns entirely. Um, I think you, you know, like he like he keep on saying in that he's John Jones said it a lot in this in this episode was that um, you know it's a tool to be used. So um, I, I don't know. I'm trying not to get too political with this this video or whatnot, but I just you know when you're dealing with aliens like this in the show, it doesn't make sense uh, to to get rid of them completely. So what are they going to do? You know, find non lethal rounds to to shoot Kryptonians with when all these evil Kryptonians show up? Or are they going to make Kryptonite bullets and use lethal rounds then right jump to lethal rounds right away? So we'll have to wait and see where things go with this. Um, it's one thing for John Jones to do that, but the rest of them. Uh, you know, it's going to be cool to see where things go. But also the big question I need to answer in the next two episodes is, you know, can Alex, can, can humans go to Earth, go to uh, um, Argo City and, and survive there? Because like I said, it would be cool to see Alex, see uh, Eliza Danvers, Jeremiah Danvers, see them going to Argo City and checking it out. Um, it would also be cool to see uh, Kal-El go to Argo City. I doubt that we'll actually even see that. I think they're, they're going to have Superman back on the show. They're not going to just see you know, him just walking around uh, uh, Argo City or anything like that and not actually getting into action. But uh, it would be cool to see you know, to hear that maybe through text message or through someone else that, you know, Supergirl has told Kal-El about it and he's met, he's gone there and he's met again with Elora and they've talked and hanged out and, you know, maybe she could say, oh yeah, yeah, hung out with, uh, with Clark, you know, and all that stuff, had a great time and all that stuff. That would be really cool to see them, uh, uh, reconnect or just hear about them reconnecting, even if we don't actually see it type thing without actually having Tyler Hecklin to return. Um, and then at the end of the episode, Alex, we see Alex looking up on the computer adoption after she hung out with, um, with Ruby. She's now looking to, I guess, adopt a child or something by the end of this episode. Uh, so we'll see how that goes. And that was an interesting idea. It was also a topic. She mentioned that before in the last episode. Um, I just, I like the character of Alex and I just, I don't want her to, you know, either if she gets, it would be cool. It'd be interesting to see if she ends up going and getting herself pregnant, like, uh, artificially inseminate or anything like that and get a donor but or even just adopting a child and all that but at the same time uh, and if she does it uh, alone I'd rather I'd rather see the storyline where she does it with someone I think that's a better storyline that's a more interesting uh, uh, you know romantic storyline to, to play with but for her to do it alone would be something entirely different that we've never seen but that at least I haven't seen before in a, in a show where a person you know adopting a child entirely alone like that and with Alex doing this, and if Supergirl's plans on staying on Argo City, which I doubt she will after this episode, she doesn't feel like it's home, you know. And she looks like obviously she's gonna have to go back to Earth. Which how is she gonna get there without when Serena takes uh, John Ship back to Earth? That'll be cool to see how that works out. How is um, Supergirl and Monel gonna get back? Uh, I feel like that maybe the um, Legion Ring might come into play with that but uh so we'll see where, where things go with that and the idea of alex you know it could be an interesting idea but at the same time i don't want to see the whole season next season or the next two or three seasons where she's just kind of you know alex is not no longer at the deo she quits and do we still follow her when she's just hang, you know raising a child i mean i feel like we would but at the same time i don't really want to just follow her if she's just taking a child because i rather her as an agent i think it's way more interesting interesting seeing that um now if she ends up you know still trying to raise a child while still uh being part of the deo that sounds like a difficult opera, difficult thing to do when she's if she's alone raising this child especially if it's going to be you know in however it's going to go i feel like it's just going to hold her back from doing stuff with the deo and i think that's really kind of the the disappointing stuff why i would kind of n rather not have that this storyline i'd rather you know 
her, you know, maybe she gets another girlfriend and meets someone else um, who's looking to it, who, and then they adopt together type thing, and then they can deal with that storyline of the relationship of someone and dealing with the child. I think it would be an interesting idea, but at this point, it looks like she would just quit the DEO to go raise a child, and I think that storyline um, would not be interesting to me to see that um, at all. Although, if Alex did do that, and maybe... Um, Maybe uh, maybe Eliza Danvers could, could then move into uh, her apartment and help raise her, raise her great her grandchild. At this point, that could be an interesting idea. And having Helen Slater in way more often episodes, you know, taking care of uh, whatever she would end up calling her 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 daughter or son or whatever. Um, I think that would be an interesting idea. Seeing that, is seeing Jeremiah and Eliza, um, you know, around here and there episodes, just taking care of. An adopted child that uh, that uh, Alex ends up if Alex ends up adopting adopting something by the end of the season we'll have to wait and see I think that could be a cool idea dealing with that um, if Eliza become comes more uh, but then she'd have to be you know in almost every episode if not every second episode at least at the end you know just kind of one scene where she's you know she shows up and uh, you know. Uh, Eliza's already been there taking care of the, the, the child so we'll have to wait and see where some of these stories go let me know what you think about where things go with this it's gonna be cool to see where things uh, continue on and some of these stories are quite interested to see uh, and how things kind of continue on from here so let me know what you think guys about this episode in the comments below and I'll see you guys in the next video peace out I'm Captain America here to talk to you about one of the most valuable traits a soldier or student can have subscribing sometimes subscribing is the key to victory sometimes it leads to very little and it seems like it's not worth it and you wonder why you waited so long for something so disappointing how many more of these you're still here don't forget to like comment and subscribe guys peace it's over